What's up, guys? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks for being here, being subbed. If you're not, hit the button. And if you're listening on YouTube, hit the like. It's like walking in the room and hitting that light switch. Let's brighten up the place and get into the real of reality TV. Well, I can say when it comes to Ashley, with all of the departures that we're seeing happening with RHOP at this point, I'm hopeful that she's going to be one of the next names that's going to be axed from the list of cast members because someone asked a question of her about this divorce, which I have been talking about before this new season even came on. And, you know, she had tried, she tried to give some complicated response to the question But anyone that has any sense about themselves, they know exactly what's going on when it comes to Ashley. There's speculation that your divorce is not real and it's for the TV show and that you're still married and just will always be married to Michael. First of all, people have seen a fraction of what Michael and I went through. So Ash, what was the holdup for filing divorce? It was very contentious. So it was just easier just to exist the way you were? It was. We were coexisting. And I realize now that I'm on this very toxic cycle where we'll have great moments where I'm like, okay, we're co-parenting, we're friendly, we're nice. And then it's a roadblock. So when we were filming the show, we were in a toxic place. After we wrapped, he was so nice. Everything was so good. And now I'm back in a toxic place. Oh. And what I realized is that there are people who have narcissistic personalities. And so I'm breaking free. I have actually filed a complaint to really initiate my divorce. Okay. I mean, right. now I feel a little more prepared and ready to... to Kimberly do that. Care either way, if you had filed or not, he was okay with just how things were going? He's not pushing it. So, I mean, I don't know what his motive is as is to he why dating? he's not. I think he is. I th- he took a trip on Valentine's Day. Oh, so oh he's dating for I sure. Think, yeah, I think that means he's got a little boo thing. So. so we found out that you still use a shared credit card with Michael for the children and Uber Eats. Any other purchases you're putting on the card? No, that's really it. You ain't putting okay. these on the card. I, I actually it. did put I these on. It. I put these on, on the air mat. I knew it. He was like, about. what is this? And I said, I uh... Listen, anybody that has sense knows that Ashley is not in any rush to depart from this marriage. And she can say she put in a complaint because she's now realizing that he has narcissistic tendencies and a narcissistic personality. But everything that's come out of her mouth shows that she's actually okay with the way that things are because he was willing to get a house for her. She says his name is on the mortgage, which means his name is on the deed. And she's dating other people. He's dating other people. And they're just coexisting and living life separately, but still married. So she already said that the prenuptial agreement really doesn't benefit her in any way financially. So why would she rush it? And if he's not rushing it, then who cares? But do you really believe that she filed a complaint to really try to push this divorce forward now? Because she said that when they're not filming, they're in a good place, but when they're filming, then it's contentious. So like, what's really going on? But it is all in perfect timing that Candace is no longer part of that show because she just announced that she is expecting with her husband, Chris. And I am extremely happy for her. I know that she's been saying that she's been wanting to have a baby and they definitely have been trying. And and with how toxic things have been on that show, I think that is the best thing for her. So I'm happy for her. I hope that everything goes well with the pregnancy. And even better, since she's not having to deal with the stress and the tension and the toxicity of being a cast member with all of those heifers that really don't see it for her and are green-eyed with envy because she has a loving marriage and a relationship that they don't have, Robin and Giselle and Ashley, (laughs) okay? Even if Ashley doesn't wear green eyes or have green eyes or wear green contacts. So with that being said, 
You can let me know your thoughts in the comment section, guys. Thanks so much for being here, for liking and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until next time, I wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm going to say bye.